Oh, good day, gentlemen. Now, here's a problem in the UK. Every area has a local council in the UK. Depending upon the size of the town or place is depending upon the size of the council. And they're all connected. Then they deal with the roads, land, what you can build, what you can't build, even what colour your house can be. Even if you own land, you have to ask their permission to do anything. They install bike lanes in my area, which costs millions and millions of pounds. And they just don't work. So they have to take them all out again and put the road back the way it was. And the trouble with the council is there's nobody else looking into the council or over the council. They have nobody to answer to. So therefore they are very arrogant. And it's usually either their way or the highway. And here's a case in point. This man spent £12,000 building a nice wall. Which looks like it fits the area quite well. There was an old fence there before, which was falling down and broken. And I must say, this cement wall looks a lot better. But the council has told him he has to tear it all down. Because he's eight inches too high. But the wooden fence that was there before was 1.8 meters high. And this cement wall he put in is 1.2 meters high. And the man doesn't have another 12,000 pounds to build another wall. This is how ridiculous the council in the UK has become. The council is a law unto itself. It's also responsible for providing housing for people. And the estates that they have created will not address these problems. The problem that they created. And I guess they don't have to because they don't have anybody to answer to. And the place falls into disarray and lawlessness. Where the police are far too scared to enter. I myself have dealt with the council and they definitely do talk to you as if you're a peasant and they're a king or a queen because one or two councils have already gone bankrupt. It's almost like going back when they had landowners. When they wanted you off a piece of land or in a hut they used to just burn it. The councils have far too much power and power obviously as they say corrupts. They seem to not need anybody's permission to do whatever they like. This is just one story about the ridiculous way the council works, but there are many. And of course people pay the council, they pay council tax. It's obviously a win-win situation for the councils. Unfortunately it doesn't look like there's anybody on the horizon that will do anything about it. Because whoever gets in next will just play the game. Because most of the government in the UK, just like everywhere else now, is run by the elites. And the elites help the elites, not the peasants. I'll be stepping off my soapbox right now and going to make a coffee. Catch you later.